Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. So last time we have arrived in Rogue Port, Princess Peach is uh, mysteriously nowhere to be found. And we're gonna go to the Thousand Year Door. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> oh my. We can use this pipe to get down onto the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. Yeah? I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action commands before we descend? They're the basics of battle, after all. Nope. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be safe. No, I'm good. A bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your partner attacks, match what's shown on the screen. When you got in, press A in time with your opponent's attacks. If you can remember that, you'll be fine. Right. Now, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and press A to enter it. Ha ha. Here we go! Okay. So we got a wall that we can bomb at some point. Who the frick are you? Oh, hi! Uh, hello! Aha! Welcome, Mario. I am Merlovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seen with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Nah. Aha! Is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want to find, just ask. All right, well, bye-bye. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, man. What's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Oh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Oh! <laughs> yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch! That was cold! What? You're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of this sewer. Nobody doesn't, nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh my. Well, um, I can't blame myself for what happens. You're the one escalating. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a para Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your, ha your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. You, you, see, you get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now, go get him. All right. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Uh, don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But good luck. All right. Well. Ah, okay. So it's in, it's in there. Okay. 
Well, we should probably get some tattling done. Perfect! That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those. In case you hadn't noticed. HP 2 attack 1. Ahem. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. Uh, that's totally rude! Maximum HP is 2, attack power is 1, and their defense is 0. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. Well... Kaboom! <laughs> tattle, tattle, tattle! That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Guess that spike, spike helps boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. The, the addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Well, how about a hammer then? Ha ha. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? Uh, no one ever talks about this. It is a little bit concerning. All right. Very nice. Owie! Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they come from, came from, and they'll have all, they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them, uh, or jump on them while in the field. Okay, fair. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him, at, thump him as you go into battle. Sure. Okay, so we can't go that way just yet. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Well, I guess Goombella's staying behind. Oh, nope, you've teleported. All right. Come on. Hey, I get to murder them right away. That was easy. Nice. Haha. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm really enjoying the how Quickly, it feels like this game is getting into the into things. Like we're already about a third of the way to a level up, and we've only been playing for like forty minutes. A mushroom. Ha ha! I really actually thought I missed that, but. <laughs> I kind of, I find it really funny. Goombella hasn't done anything. We, we've been defeating enemies so efficiently that Goombella just hasn't had to do anything. Yeah, that's right. Come on, that's... 
Okay, well, we're going to be able to pull that off at some point. But it doesn't seem like we can do that just yet. Oh. Hi. Ah! Ah-ha! All right. Let's go ahead and tattle. That's a spin uh, spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Uh, nobody must, nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. And max HP is three, attack attack is one, and defense is zero. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a yeah. All right. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> um, this, <laughs> sorry. I just am feeling a little weird because like, I can't tell if me being a little bit better at the uh, action commands is just because it's early game or if it's a remake or if just the timing in Thousand Year Door in general is better, it might even just be the controller. Because in the in Paper Mario, I was using Nintendo 64 controller. So that might be a factor too. What's that thing behind you? Oh, you have a sleepy sheep. Well, then I want to kill you first. Very nice. <laughs> That's a big block. This is a big yellow block. It looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. Uh, but if you find a more powerful hammer, then look out, block. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I I I know that. I just keep trying to spin, but I can't spin. Whoa! I must need to get a badge to spin or something like that. I got a strange black key. Okay. If you say so. Let's move on. Ah, hey. Hey, you, can you hear me? You can, that must mean you're the hero of legend. Me? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Hmm, I see. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since. Waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah. Anyway, big guy. What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario? A word with you. I'm not exactly confident we can trust this... chest. I think it may, it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Oh, well, Drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars you are, you know? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope, if you hope to get those bad guys, bad boys. So first you should look out for a key to this chest, then use it on, use it to let me out, definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote is, get, is goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. 
This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, old great legendary hero. Sure. Well, what? You already found the key. Oh man, ow, you big. Here you go. Yes. Thank, <laughs> thank nothing. <laughs> Fools. Oh my. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. <laughs> what? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Bugly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Oh no! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press wire on certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Yeah, <laughs> trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I, uh, I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. You'll control your tiny paper plane self uh, by tilting up, left stick, forward, and back. The plane will rise if you tilt uh, left in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting up, left too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting left. Timing is key. Try it now and suffer total aerodynamic humiliation. Okay. <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, press B to deplane and get back to normal. Wait, so we can just do it? We can be removed? <laughs> so, be honest. Do you fully understand the peril that this curse... Per the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yeah, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, uh, wow. Just, wow. What was that guy's beef? Honestly, I have no idea. But hey, we can turn into a paper airplane now. It's a door. Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true, are all true. Come, let's move closer. Okay, sure. I wanna get up to the springs. I saw there was a shine sprite. Ah! Hello? What's going on? Professor, what's going on? Look at the map. Okay. 
Impressive. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Nifty. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Nice. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. All right. <laughs> Professor, the map. And what was all those strange? What was with all those strange lights? Hmm. This looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light. It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Sure. All right. Uh, hmm. Aha! I see. Okay. What do you see? You understand it, Professor? Of course I do. And I shall explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly astonishing! Somehow this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadow Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadow Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. A pipe trap is efficient. I say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? The princess. From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach? This wouldn't happen to be her. This wouldn't be her, would it? Exactly. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. Oh, you know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal, Petal Meadows with you two. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Well, thank you. Aren't you coming, Professor? And now, I'll stay in town and ask about, around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckonings, Mario can now perform, an, perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure. Excellent. In that case, let's give your special move a little test run. Okay, let's do it. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. Right. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. 
Okay. And cures poison. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm doing. Ah. Oh. Um. My father is calling. <laughs> um. I might have to end the episode. Which we're, we're at about that time anyway. Uh, since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me, please. Okay. Sure. Nice. See that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Right. Let's go with the hammer. Nice! Keep building up that star power. Oh, so the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch your fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in the audience. Okay, cool. I'm blocking that. Hold on. I don't need to see confirm in the bottom. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get your get star power. I hope you memorized all of this. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my... Uh, uh, scintillating? I don't know. Lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario! Yeah! Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Is that a new hammer? Power Smash Badge. Oh. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on, uh, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what effects it will, effects will be your first, uh, will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping? Mm, no thanks, I know how to do that. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want to practice? No thanks. I see, then just remember this one part for me. You must equip badges for them to take effect. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to pedal, pedal meadows. Bye bye And uh, because we have, uh, I guess I gotta call my dad back. Um, we're gonna end the episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like. And if you wanna catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it, so see ya.